Welcome everyone, Farmer Cup here. This is episode, oh gosh, it's five, episode five of uh, Klein's Land. Uh, it's good to see you guys today, good to have you on here. We're just doing a fertilizing contract right now, and we got a selling one I got a worker working on right now as well. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to bring you guys back in. Um, it is early autumn, we're going to try to get some good stuff done. Last episode, we got our horses going, which, by the way, are doing fantastic. Um, every day, the horse helper takes $650 out of our account, but at midnight, we get $1,700, so... Uh, we are doing pretty good on those. Those are fantastic, even with just four horses. So I'm really happy about that. Um, I did manage to pay back uh, 5000 off of our $50,000 loan, which is great. Um, and then this is the contract we're working on right now. This fertilizing one is our second one we've had on this field. So we got 1800 previously for the last last contract we had on this, um, getting that one done. And our sewing one will be another $900. Um, the other thing I did is I did put in a water tap. Um, at the farm to make it easier just to fill up. So we have, where's it at? There it is right there. That guy, I put that guy in. So we have a nice little water tap in there. I thought that'd be kind of a good addition to our farm, um, a good feature on there. So I wanted to add that in, but uh, yeah, I'm recording this. Um, oh gosh, this is actually getting recorded the day it's gonna come out, I believe, if I upload it, which I'm sorry this came out late today, um, just because right now my normal video would post in nine minutes, which obviously I haven't gotten the episode done yet. So it's just gonna be a little late today, but that's okay. It's just been, life's been busy for me. Uh, it just is what it is. So, um, work has been crazy busy and I've been working extra hours to help kind of just to help out. So yeah, I had to go into work this morning and now I'm back finally able to get some stuff going. Um, even though it's almost noon for me here, my time, but I'm going to get some stuff going when I worked part of the morning. Uh, but yeah, so I'll get some stuff down. We'll get, uh, get rolling on this, get an episode out for you, for you guys today. And then I am, uh, that's done, that's fantastic. We'll go back to the farm here. Um, we'll accept that real quick. That guy's doing good. Perfect, $1,800, and we can probably pay off another part of our loan here in a second. Um, but yeah, we'll take care of the animals in a bit, too. But uh, yeah, I'm getting ready to go on vacation. Not really vacation. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna be up visiting family for a couple days. So I'm gonna try to get some recording done today. Um, but what I don't get done today, well, there just won't be videos, but I'm going to try to get some videos out because I want you guys to have them. Uh, Gamer Cop won't have any videos post. If you don't know, that's my other channel. I have another channel called Gamer Cop, um, which is basically anything that's not farming simulator related. That will have no videos post for the next several days, uh, next three days at least, while I'm uh, out and about on vacation-ish, visiting family. But uh, yeah, we'll leave this guy here. That was, uh, did it say he ran out? Yeah, he's out. Let's go get this guy loaded up. He missed a little bit of a strip there, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to chat with you guys for a little bit. That car is just fast enough that we're probably not going to catch up to him and pass him. Yeah, we're getting some stuff done. Um, I'm turning, I turned up the game volume so you guys could hear the tractors a little bit better. I had uh, some comments about that, so. Oop, sorry, sign. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully you guys can hear the tractors a little bit better, but, uh, as far as everything goes, check how everything is today. Yep, plowed, good to go. Um, we will deal with that, obviously. Next year, we'll get something put in there. Um, gosh, everything else is doing fine. That's what we got going on. So actually, I probably could cut through here. It probably won't matter too much. We'll get this guy reloaded with some seeds, get him back out and about, and actually, he probably needs some fuel. We'll probably grab that while we're down here. I'm just be safe. It is kind of nice having the map be this small, just because it just is a little easier to work around and stuff like that. Um, whoops, probably the cedar probably bumped up there. And I still have these little stumps here. Um, I mean, honestly, I kind of want to buy. You guys are gonna be like, it's a waste of money, but I kind of want to buy the stump grinder because it's gonna be worth it. Cordwood saw. I don't think that's gonna stump grind, but this will. Obviously, it's a stump grinder. Five grand is a lot, so maybe 255 to lease is pretty easy to go knock out those two stumps. And you know what? We're not going to need it long. I mean, yeah, we're going to take out more trees in the future, but we can always lease it again. So we'll probably just lease that. Let's just do that real quick. Um, we can lease it multiple times. 255 is not that much money. And we have our wool still. We haven't sold any of our wool. Uh, let's get this guy working, and then we'll grab the John Deere. There we go. Just yeah, They kind of glitch a little bit, so it looked like it was a full pallet. But then once you actually grab onto it... It's gonna be hard to get this guy a little bit of fuel. Let's see if we can pull in close enough to get reloaded here. There we go. Perfect, okay. And off we go. I don't need our hitch hanging out in the roadway there, but I'll be okay for now. 
We'll get this guy working on that, and then we'll go pick up that stump grinder, get those stumps knocked out, because we want to get those taken care of. Uh, I'm just going to cut across this guy's field. Animals are doing great. Um, they're doing fine. Horses are doing fine. So we're getting everything taken care of for them, which is great. Yeah, it's fantastic. And we have our new silo, which has our oats in it. So we got plenty of oats for at least now. Um, I don't think they're... How much oats are they going to need for the... It's estimated food, but that's probably... That's actually a lot for the year. 27,000 for the year. Hopefully they eat a lot of hay and not a lot of oats. Because that's... Obviously we don't have that in oats. We'll have to see. I mean, how we're doing on oats once we get around to the... Uh, to next year to see if we need to... We'll go back up and start where we're at. Uh, to see if we need to plant oats again. Um, hopefully this will have a harvest contract come up. Because then we can get some oats off of this and hold on to those for our um, horses. But... Yeah, let's get this guy rolling again. I have to go back and hit that strip at the end, but that's fine. We'll hire him there. Okay. Um, let's hop back over to our John Deere. We're not hooked up to that, so we will... Uh, oh, no, we are hooked up to that. There we go. We need to grab... What was I going to do? Oh, yeah. Stump grinder down at the store. You get a little confused. I forget what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, you guys have had some really good positive feedback on this, which I really appreciate. Thank you, guys. You guys are, seem to be really enjoying this, which is awesome, actually. Quite awesome. Um, I know that yard looks a little bit messy right now, because it is, quite honestly. But, yeah, you guys have really been enjoying this series. And there's actually, there's still straw out there. I could uh, lose straw. And I know some people have commented saying, hey, you should sell the straw off the field. But uh, loose straw is not worth anything. If it's loose hay or loose straw or loose grass, that's not worth anything if you have seasons on, which obviously you're running seasons. Oh, I forgot I had those hay pallets, oh, those hay bales down here. I need to grab those and take those back out of the farm. Actually, we could probably, we might as well grab them while we're down here. I forgot about those. Left those here. Last time I was in the game, I meant to come get them. Oop, not that. We need to get on. There we go. That'll work. And this tractor doesn't have any lights on it, which is, I mean, honestly, it's fine. Don't really need them. That might be a little loud with the audio i apologize we'll get going here just uh, up a little bit no down a little bit maybe what's our problem here let's zoom in a little bit there we go that's close enough i like that it's a little bit of a floating bale on there there we go they slid back all right, we'll get this back to the farm and set it as strange as it does look. Ooh, don't want to hit that car. And then we can get the, uh, get the, what am I trying to say here? Get the stumps knocked out and we can return this least item. We don't need to hold on to it any longer. Probably not going to take any trees out for a lot. I can't take any of the other trees out because we don't actually own the land. Because um, if you look in the menu here, our land is literally just exactly what we have there. None of those trees on the outside or anything like that are part of our land. We'll set this down here. Oop. Actually, that worked out far better than I thought it was going to work out. There we go. Shove that up against the wall. All right. Let's get this. Get these stumps out. It's been a while since I've used this stump grinder. Probably since uh, Willamina Forest. I haven't used this. Yeah, get that ground out there. Beautiful. Make sure we don't... Yep, it's gone. I always like to check. That is the easy... What is it? No, not the easy development expanse. Um, that is the developer tools, which you can enable in your game XML, which I have a video on if you want to know how to add that. Um, it's for PC only that you'll be able to do that on, but uh, it does work quite nice. Make sure that's out. Perfect. Okay. And then we will just go into the garage here and we will return that. Okay, fantastic. Problem solved. And how's our contract doing? Probably almost done. 53, well, it's not almost done, but he's making good progress. Okay, but yeah, I'll get that contract done. I'll keep uh, chipping away. I'll probably bring you guys back in if we have any snow on here. Um, otherwise, I will just keep taking care of stuff, getting some loans paid off and everything like that, which um, actually, I'll, while you guys are here, let's pay off part of our loan. 
F another five grand there, so there we go. But yeah, I'll keep working on paying stuff off, getting stuff done around the farm, which is just basically taking care of our animals, and then uh, I'll see you guys uh, probably in the spring would be my guess when it's time to plant, but I'll bring you back in if we get some snow or something. So I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, welcome everyone. Good to have you guys back. It is still autumn, but that's okay. I just took care of all the animals, so they are all squared away. Um, I parked a few things over here, so this is probably what I'll keep over here. Um, then tractors can go over here and trailers can sit out for now. But uh, what I thought about doing, since we have a little bit of money, I do have a fertilizing contract I'm going to get done. And I did do $2,800 worth of fertilizing contracts, which is just two of them. Uh, so those have been taken care of. I'm thinking about buying the greenhouses here. Now, I won't, I won't keep using them probably if they're over powered and what i mean by that is if they just make us too much money i don't want them to make it super easy but they're not this little pot of land is only 4500 bucks so we'll go ahead and buy this and then i'm pretty sure you just need water and manure now i'm not i'm gonna see if they will just take water so i don't have to buy manure and that'll also kind of reduce the uh the overall benefit of it so we'll go let's go grab some water real quick and see if they do anything here um we'll grab we'll grab the john deere Yeah, we'll hook up to our water tank here and see. Just because we already have the stuff basically to take care of it. Um, I think it'll be worthwhile if it makes us even just a little bit of money. Even if it's only a couple hundred bucks a day or something, that would be fine. Or a couple hundred bucks per greenhouse, that'd be fine. Now, if it makes us like 15 grand a day or something ridiculous like that, we'll just... Uh, we'll figure something out. I might just keep doing it, but then just removing most of the money that we earn from it. So... Um, I do like this little plot, and here's why. One thing I want to do in this series, I think, because I've never used it before, is I want to start doing... Is it under here? Yeah, I want to run the little farm shop, which it's not going to let me show you how big it is outside to put it. And I think this would be a good spot for it. Now, I know... Yeah, I know the greenhouses are kind of in the way. I'm going to see if I can maybe do a little manipulation of the land with the map object cider, maybe get it to fit in here. Cause this looks like a perfect little area for people to kind of drive up and get a few things going but uh, yeah i think this is the perfect series to get some of that going now it looks like there's let's see how much well tell me how much they will take here anywhere wish it had like a tank capacity something like that that i could see That would be kind of nice, but it doesn't look like it's probably going to have that for me. So we'll just keep dumping it in there. I don't know if it's going to be hourly income or not. I haven't tested any of this. So, well, we're pretty close to the hour anyways. Um, let's go ahead and fill them both up so we can see what they're both going to earn us as far as water goes. We'll run back over here to our little standpipe. I haven't shown you guys the standpipe, but actually this one fills it up super fast. Um, it's kind of nice, but... Oh, right here, this little guy. Yeah, it works super great. Okay, there we go. Let's go see. We'll put the, this full load into the other greenhouse, and then we might speed up time just a touch. Sorry, I just wanted to make sure I got around that there. Speed up time just a touch to see how it does. See if it earns it by the hour. And if it doesn't earn it by the hour, then I'll let you guys know after I go through the night um, what it earns by the night. So... That one's probably still going to take some. Yep, still has space in it. Put some in this guy here. I don't know how much it's going to use, so I'll probably just keep hauling loads until it says that it's full and then come down here every day and just kind of top it up. That'll probably be what I'll end up doing. But, uh, yep, let's see here. Let's go. Okay, I did bring a little bit in. Let's see if it shows up in our finance screen here today. Property income, 88 So $44 an hour. That's not too bad, actually, for just having... Well, I don't know if it's going to do the full hour or not. Let's just go ahead and fast forward here. And go through another full hour. Okay. Would have gone through it again. So is it double 88? Yep, it is. Okay, so it's 88 an hour for just having that in there. So 88 times 24. Okay, I mean, that's $2,100 a day, which is quite a bit. Yeah. Urgh. I don't know what it's going to be. And I don't know what the uh, property maintenance is going to be now. It's been... Obviously, I don't know why it's gone up, but it has for some reason. See, so yeah, twenty one hundred bucks a day is quite a bit. Um, yeah, I think that's too much. I think that's too much for it. So I'll probably take half of it out every day. So every day at midnight, I'll probably just take a thousand out just to make it easy for me. So yeah, I'll probably 
do minus a thousand every night just to just to be safe. Now, I won't do it tonight because we haven't had them obviously for here for very long. Um, but yeah, so I'll probably just do minus a thousand a night just to make sure it's all just this fair. I think I think two thousand dollars a day, especially with what we're trying to accomplish here, is a little too much. I mean, a thousand is a lot too, but I mean to be fair, our horses are making that anyway. So, but a thousand is nowhere near. You know, yeah, it's just nowhere near what compared to two. I mean, twenty one hundred dollars is a lot of money a day. So anyhow, I just wanted to do that. I'm going to get that fertilizing contract done. Um, and I think that those will probably be our, that'll probably be my thumbnail today. You guys probably already knew what was going on. But uh, I'll drive this over, probably and get a nice thumbnail shot. But uh, anyhow, I will see you guys uh, probably, again, maybe spring. Spring will be my goal probably. Or if we get some snow, because, well, we got, well, we've seen snow on here before. It's not that big of a deal. So I'll probably just bring you back in when it's time to finally start seeding again and get going. Now, I did look at our crop rotation planner, if I can pull that up correctly. Now, cotton was there before we got here. Then we did wheat. Then we did canola. Then we did oats. I think we'll do sunflowers. Now, I know, I think we have enough oats to last a year. If not, we can always buy some um, to feed the horses if we really need to. Uh, so I'm not too worried about that. But I think we'll do sunflowers because that's going to be a good, a decent yield. And what we can do after sunflowers, uh, we can do in our cereal. So we could do like wheat or something along those lines. Are there any 1.2s in here? Probably not. Um, yeah, cereal crop would be fine. So we'll probably end up doing... Yeah, probably end up doing, honestly, I'll probably end up doing oats then. So probably sunflower, then oats. Um, yeah, and then I'll probably start clearing out some of these guys down here. That's the last two, so these guys can probably go back to not being part of it for now. Oh, won't let me do that. We'll do fallow for now. And that'll obviously raise it up quite a bit, but we'll do that. And then after we start getting these guys, we'll start rotating around. So after oats, we could do... Uh, I mean, rotate between those two seems to be a pretty good idea, actually. Um, we could do poplar. I don't want to do poplar sugarcane. I don't even think this geo would support sugarcane. Um, where is it at on here? Sugarcane. Yeah, there's no. I don't think we'll ever. Yeah, there's no. There's nothing on here for sugarcane. So, or cotton. So we can't grow cotton or sugarcane, which is fine. Um, yeah. So going back to that, I think we'd probably end up just doing. Maybe instead of sunflowers for the next one, we do canola. So we keep going, you know, oil seed to cereal, oil seed to cereal for now uh, while we have that going. So that'll probably be the plan. Uh, but yeah, I will see you guys uh, later on, probably in the spring when it's time to plant. Welcome back. We are back again. Well, I did pay off $5,000 of loan. I want to mention that before I forget. But other than that, it's early winter and a great demand popped up for our wool. So let's get our wool sold off because we probably have, what is that? eight 16 grand in there yeah that's gonna be awesome so what i am thinking is maybe this guy i know it's not technically like a transport trailer but i'm gonna hope that we can maybe see if they'll sit in there and see see if i can load them up or not um, I don't know how this is going to go. This could go very poorly, very fast, but we'll try it. All right. Here's where our sheep are going to start making us the money that we need. Let's get over there a little bit more. There we go. Okay. Because even if we can take, I mean, because I used to just drive them one at a time on the front loader. Let's see if it'll. Oh, is it not going to let me put it in there? There's some sort of collision there. Well, that's kind of a bummer. Okay. Um. Plan two. Let's put this oat or these oats away. I know we don't technically have to. We could probably just load them up in there over top of this, but. Well, actually, you know, how much is a, would be a flatbed trailer for transport? I mean, I probably could justify one. Where is, where are the low loaders? Their trailers. Where are the low loaders? Uh, bail transport, forestry equipment. Do they, is that not an existing category anymore? Um, I guess not. What was that back there? Small trailer would work. 
I don't think it takes any... Yeah, that one doesn't take any... It takes animals, actually, but it doesn't take anything else. Um, it's weird that it doesn't... Probably something to do with Lush. It's tech, check bail technology here. No, there's nothing cheap in there. Um, it might just actually be under... Oh, well, there's light. 4700 bucks is a lot for a trailer. Ugh, but that would be a good one. Um... Probably actually be worth it, honestly, at the end of the day. Maybe we could get this little guy, but that's a, I mean, it's technically a tipper trailer, but you can have the bail loading option for 650 You know what? Because we're going to use it more. Let's just buy one of these guys standard. I do like that headache rack on there, that little rack on there. So let's do, let's take out a little bit more of a loan. I know we just repaid five grand but um i think it'll be worth it so do that 49 30 let's go ahead and buy that we're gonna make uh most of that back right away let's get this out of the way here let's go pick that up real quick we'll probably end the episode here in a minute after we get this done because i think this is going to get us It'll probably take me a little bit of time to get this done but yeah so this is gonna be awesome um the amount of money we're gonna make i'm probably should just drive them the road huh but the uh, the amount of money we're gonna make off this is gonna be fantastic absolutely fantastic um okay back up here this thing has tension straps and everything beautiful big old trailer easy peasy i'll probably just keep it on this tractor and then I'll just use the uh, John Deere to load it up. That just kind of makes a little bit more sense for us. And then we'll get this off, sold off with that great demand. That will be fantastic. That's going to be so much good cash for us. The sheep will finally start paying off. I mean, they've been making us actually decent money in the past, but I'm glad I waited for that great demand, which is, that's what I wanted to do is wait for a nice great demand, but leave that there. Flip around. Now I'm going to go probably too wide on the trailer here. With that drop down here. I don't do a ton of pallet fork work. But that actually went really smoothly for that one. We'll get that strapped in so I don't throw it off somehow. Because that sounds like something I would do. I only got a little bit of it on there. That'll be fine. Oop, easy, you don't want to tip the tractor either. Ooh, don't, don't do that. Whoa! <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, man, that was pretty funny. Okay, we are going to cheat a little bit to get that back over here because that wouldn't have happened. Where did it go? What in the world? Where did it go? Hopefully it didn't, like, fall through. Wow, well, let's go ahead and, uh, wow, I can't even believe that happened. Um, I got straw out here, which is kind of surprising, but I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Oh, my gosh. That went a ways. Let's turn that off. Okay. Well, we'll carry this back. <laughs> That was ridiculous. <laughs> that was pretty funny, though. Wow, that literally flew that thing clear across the map there for a bit. Here we go. We're back in our farm finally here. And we'll just, uh, we'll just say A for effort on this one and throw it on the trailer here. <laughs> wow, that was impressive. Okay. And we'll turn our super strength back off. Wow. Okay. Well, um, let's try to load up the rest of these guys without any incidents. Hopefully. These guys are a little harder to get to. Get a little bit more tucked away in the corner there. There we go. Got that one. Let's 
see if we can't it doesn't actually have to be super well placed on the trailer itself just want to tilt that a little bit there we go I'm pretty happy with that is it hanging off a little bit on the other side not too bad that's not bad okay strap that guy in there we'll grab this pallet now Oop, don't do that oh stuff like that happens there we go had some interesting oh, don't do it again interesting glitches with this pallet fork setup today okay let's grab this last one here this last full pallet i should say we still want to grab that might as well sell that partial pallet as well while we got the price I don't know how many liters are in it, but whatever's in it will be better than a not so great demanded price. We'll throw that one on the back and then we'll haul those down to be sold. Oop, easy there. It doesn't even, yeah, this, eh. I mean, we've known this has been a little bit sketch since we got this set up, but 137 liters. Yeah, it's not going to break the bank, but that's okay. Oh, like, I mean, to be honest though, that's like what? $400 over $400 for that little pallet okay okay there we go I think we'll use this money just straight up to pay back the loan because that's our first goal is to get rid of that loan and the Webbery is where's that at oh it's down there it's right we got a little bit of a drive but yeah so I hope you guys are still enjoying the series you guys seem to be this is the most definitely the most popular series I've ever had I think um, on my channel which is great and uh, yeah it's been a lot of fun it's been one of the funnest ones I think or most fun sorry funnest isn't technically a word but whatever but anyhow um, yeah we'll get this up here we'll get this sold off and I think we'll wrap up the episode at that point so I'm pretty happy we're probably gonna get a lot of money for this which is gonna be really really needed um, to get our farm kind of uh, more about more back on track again i apologize for this episode coming out late today but uh still wanted to make sure i got it out for you guys uh but yeah this is episode five we'll probably go i mean honestly 30 40 episodes on this series would be my guess uh because i mean we want to build our own farm and we want to eventually own this whole map so um yeah i'm enjoying this series quite a bit playing on it and then as long as you guys are enjoying watching it, i'll keep going at it um for until we get to like a logical conclusion or something along those lines right here is the sell point so they're actually selling off. Except for that that one, of course. I actually might be able to lift that one. Oh, there it goes. Never mind. Got 557 for that small pallet. And look at that. We have 20 grand in the bank. We can't pay off all of the loan, obviously. We can pay off that. We'll keep the five grand. I know I could pay off another chunk. Well, actually, we'll get enough money from our income that we should be able to still afford the horses. So yeah, there we go. We paid off 20 grand off for a loan. Uh, from selling off the uh, wool for that. So that is a fantastic result from the wool this year. Uh, but yeah, I think with that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode. Um, next episode, we should be able to get through winter. Um, I might even bring you guys back in once we are through winter. That'll probably be what I'll do. Uh, but we'll get through winter. Uh, we will get to seeding our sunflowers, which actually we can't. I'm realizing we can't plant because we don't have a planter. We might actually buy a planter. I think it'll be worthwhile in the long run for us, especially since we plow every time. But we'll get that field plowed and get all that stuff underway. Might do a little bit of a time lapse of it or something like that. I don't know. We'll do something interesting on there to change it up a little bit. I know it's kind of boring watching us repurpose the same field over and over again. But again, we got to do it to get this farm built up and to slowly kind of move along. Um, and I'm thinking as far as where we build our own farm, there's two forest areas we could clear and do. I really like this area. I mean, let me know down in the, in the chat if you guys think this area right here in the corner or this one over here by field two. Uh, but I'm thinking this one. I'm thinking this is where I want to build our farm. And I do think I want to clear this out, get rid of all this stuff, the chickens, the cows, all that good stuff. Because um, we can buy this whole chunk of land and I want to put a field here, I think, at some point. Um, but yeah, that's, I think, the plan. Uh, but yeah, we can buy this forestry chunk here and we can put a nice setup for us there. And I think this will be a good area, especially with our farm shop that we're going to put right there in the future. I think this will be a good area for us to kind of set up camp and set up shop. Nice back up in the corner there. Um, yeah, really nice piece of land, I think. So I think it'd be nice to clear that out. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.